Wow. Just like that. People told me this creek was good and uh, they didn't disappoint. All right, so for the next couple days, I'm gonna be hanging out here at the Tangle Lake Campground. It's, uh, it's a fairly small campground. It's located in between uh, Upper and Lower Tangle Lake, and it has Tangle Creek that goes and parallels right next to it, which is where I'll be fishing tomorrow for grayling, I'm hoping. Um, it's about, I think it's located 21 miles off of the Denali Highway from the Paxson side, and it is paved all the way up to this lake so you don't have to go bouncing yourself down it's pretty easy to get to um, we just got here and i'm pretty confident the hatch is in full swing there are mayfly swarms everywhere everywhere i don't think i have a fly pattern that matches it but hopefully these uh, grayling will be in such a frenzy that it won't really matter and they'll be hitting whatever hits the top of the water um, it's, I really, this place is great. There's been wildlife everywhere. We've seen uh, a couple of families of moose, mom and a couple of babies, mom, cow and a calf. Uh, you know, we've seen, there's beavers that we've been seeing. There's birds everywhere. I got one at the end of the table right now, actually just staring me down. But, um, yeah, fantastic place to camp. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to figure out if it's a fantastic place to get some grayling. I've heard good things. So, fingers crossed, in the morning, I'll be uh, tight lines and pulling in some grayling. All right, see you then. All right, guys, it's an awesome morning. Um, I'm fishing in between Upper and Lower Tangle Lake right now, in obviously Tangle Creek, or river, I'm not sure which one it is. But it's the body of water connecting both lakes, so it's one of the two. Um, anyways, just an awesome morning. Sunny. Birds are almost deafening. It's very, very relaxing. And I'm about ready to flip this fly, see if I can't catch some grayling. Something I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. When you come and fish these creeks, you want to go somewhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wow, just like that. People told me this creek was good and uh, they didn't disappoint. Did not disappoint. Ooh. Slippery. Good grief. There you go. Now if I can just hold on to them. Hello there. Awesome. Awesome fish, awesome color, awesome fin. I gotta get this hook out. But I absolutely love catching these things. This fin is just so cool. So unique, unlike anything else that you see. with a fish up here. All right, let me get this hook out and get this guy back in the water. So like I was saying before I was pleasantly surprised, find a little deep pool. These fish kind of like to hang out there, makes it so that the water 
moves a little slower. Things are able to collect here, bugs, critters that they eat. They don't have to swim so hard. And then you just take your fly and do exhibit A that just happened. How am I winded by that? Goodness. I'm going to say it's adrenaline. Or I really need to go to the gym. I've got a goat hunt this fall, and I might die if I can't even bring in a 14-inch gray leaf. Anyways, get your line straight, flip it out into this pool, let your fly just kind of float. Uh, I don't know what the name of this fly is off the top of my head. It's the kind that has a nice little red ribbon in the middle, followed by some orange tail protruding feathers and uh, white wings. I don't know the name, but it is a killer. So all I'm doing right now is just kind of walking this creek, going up to places that look shallow and that a fish might be holding behind. This rock right here looks kind of good. But better yet, yeah, are these rocks up here. Just like that. Get behind a rock and see if you can't catch yourself one of these gray light. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can't do the split. Holy moly. There it is. Absolutely unbelievable. This fish. Stop it. Awesome. Awesome fishing. Anyways, you get the picture. There's some pigs in here. This guy just doesn't want to look at that. Look at that fin. Such a cool fin. Such a cool fish. All right. Oh, he got one. Try it again. All right, so unfortunately, one of the fish I got, the hook ended up going through its eye. So, what turned out to be a uh, fun day of catch and release turned into breakfast. Right, Dane? Yeah. I'm gonna get this fire going. We can try and get this skillet hot while I'm down there cleaning this thing. Hopefully, uh, it'll be warm enough to cook when we get back. Still an awesome board. Skillet's pretty warm now. Uh, super simple. This fish doesn't have a whole bunch of meat on it, and unfortunately, it didn't come prepared with tin foil. So while everybody else eats Cheerios, I'm gonna throw him on the skillet. I put some cilantro in here, some butter, some lemon juice, and some uh, salt and pepper. 
You just put them on here and cook it up. It'd be really nice to have tin foil, but it's gonna work with what you got. Not prettiest, but it's gonna taste good. Railing are really bland, so they kind of take on whatever flavor you put in there. So keep that in mind. Mm. That's pretty awesome. So that's it, guys. From the creek to the skillet to my belly. I'll put a little bit more lemon on here if I can. Like I said, super bland fish. Mm. Really good though. Doesn't even taste like fish. It's crazy. Not one bit of fishiness to this. So, got a free couple days. Highly recommend coming up here, going after some of these grayling. Because they are super easy to catch. I think they want you to catch them. I haven't had grayling in years, and this is fantastic. Alright, thanks for watching. Come up and get some fish.